Good morning, everyone. And, Good morning. And welcome to family worship here at St. Andrews for this uh, first Sunday in Christmas. Yeah, it's the first, it's the second. It's two days after December, even though it's Boxing Day for us. Mm -hmm. Yes, because again, Christmas isn't just one day, it is... Twelve days. It's yeah, twelve days. It lasts all the way until Epiphany, yeah, which, is, which is January 6th. That's so right. So, so, so the walk, so the, so that's the day when the wise men came. Mm -hmm. Epiphany is the day when the wise men came. Yeah, so you can still have your Christmas music on and, and, and enjoy the season until January 6th. Um, I hope everybody, I hope all of you had a, had a good Christmas, even with things being very different this year. I know we had a good Christmas here at the Reed household. Me too. Yeah. So, let's start off today. What is our question? Can I do it? Um, no. Yeah. No, wait, I want to do okay, it. Okay, you do it. What is something that you're known for? The answer to that question for me is my Pokemon knowledge. Is your Pokemon I knowledge? I bear, I know a lot of stuff about Pokemon thanks to my Pokemon book. Okay, and so, Hannah, what's your, what are you known for? My long curly hair and I like math. Your long curly hair and you like math. That's great. Yeah, it's a, we're, we're known for, for certain things about us, either uh, things we do, things and, we like. Things and we I care like about. sleeping. And you like sleeping too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so that's going to link into our big God theme for the day. But to get there, we have to uh, have to play our game. We have one more round of... So one more one. round of... Emoji Christmas songs, and again, remember it's not always the title of the first line. You want to do uh, some? So, there's a, it's a video game system. Do you know what kind of, video it, games and three wise? It's a video game system <laughs> called, um, a, called a I know, Nathan. We Sweet Kings of Orient Song. Yeah. That, that, that video game system is called a Wii. W I I. Oh. So, we Three Kings. Can I do it? I'll let next. Get the next one. I am moving painting <laughs> Alright, well, but what, so what do you do when you I sleep? You dream. dream, and what color is the paint? White. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas tree. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. You guys probably don't know that song. That's a very famous Christmas song from the 19... I think it's the 1950s. I know, I know. Wait, I wait let, let, let Nathan get, get the first go. What? Well, what's the thing beside the H? So. Hawk the herald angels sing. Very good. Okay, Hannah gets the first go on the thing. Wait, but she. Well, deck the hall. Deck the halls. What do you think it is, Nathan? Oh, wait, la, oh, what is it? The sign. So if there's a line through a bunch of L's. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. What do you What do you think? I, I don't. This one. This one's a groaner. No L. No L. No, no L. L. Oh, can I do the hey, did you know that? that no, well, it's the French word for Christmas. Yes. Yes. Can... <laughs> so let's see if you can get. I uh, what... up our so, what, what, what... so what's the thing on the left? Um, the the uh, green things. Those are olives. Olives. Olive. D. The... What's that? Utter. Utter. Right. Umbrella. Uh, Rain. Olive. D. Utter. Oh, rain. So say, all, say, it, say it all. Oh, all of, all of the, the other reindeer. Who looks the windows ways? Very good, guys. All of the other reindeer. There's a double one. Whoop, whoop. Oh. There's our. <laughs> there. So we'll, we'll do one. Can I do it? You want to do it? 
people living in darkness will see a, gl a great light. Hannah definitely knew that from practice. She did not yeah. see that. Very Later. good. Uh, we also have a new memory verse this week. What we'll, is it? It's the one that a lot the of people The Lord know. is my shepherd. He gives everything I need. Yeah, the Lord is my shepherd. He, he gives, gives me, me everything, everything I need. That's Can I say that? The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. It's the very beginning of a famous psalm by King David, who was a shepherd and knew that God was like a shepherd too. Yeah, I know that, that story. All right, so that means we can unlock our big God theme for the day. Ready to go, guys? Ready. Ready. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus is God's son. So how do you think that that uh, that links in with the question? Mm, I know. The yes. cro like the one where he died for us. Thing. I know. Oh, I know. Jesus is known for being God's son. Yeah, and the story that we're going to look at today, we had the Christmas story on Christmas on Christmas Eve. And, what uh, was it? The, you know the Christmas the cross? story. The nativity. Nativity plays yeah. Mary and Joseph at the Yeah, but this this story. And at the end, you were like, the poor church Yes, tree. but today we take the story on, not when Jesus was a baby, but when he was a boy living with his parents. An important part of the big God story is when Jesus was a baby. And a lot of the big God story deals with Jesus when he was an adult. But today... We're going to be looking at Jesus as a boy. Every year, Jesus and his family would travel all the way from Nazareth to Jerusalem, the big, big city, to celebrate the Passover. A special celebration for God's people when they would remember how God led his people out of Egypt, how he took them out of slavery. On the way home from this special celebration, Jesus' mother and father made an unfortunate discovery. Jesus was not with them. They asked their family, they asked their friends if anyone had seen him, and they all said no. Mary and Joseph headed back to the city to look for Jesus. After three days of searching, they found him in the temple courts, sitting with the teachers, listening to them, and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his answers and his understanding of things. Jesus' parents were also amazed, but his mother also said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you for three days. Jesus answered them, Why were you searching for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But Mary and Joseph did not understand what he was saying to them. They left together and went back to Nazareth. And Jesus was obedient to them. Jesus' mother Mary paid close attention to all these kinds of things that happened and treasured them in her heart. And as Jesus grew, he became wiser and smarter and was well liked by people and by God. Jesus was definitely not like any other person. He was God's son, and this would mean that his life would always look a little different. Jesus is God's son. Okay. So, are you, do you guys remember that story? Or is that, yeah. is that fresh for you guys? Fresh. Fresh. I remember it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of remember one part. Mm -hmm. Though we're like, where are you? 
Yeah. Like, oh, that's the only part I really remember. I'm trying to think. I don't think you guys have ever gotten really lost when you were out with us somewhere. No. Yeah, we haven't got lost and you haven't had to search us for three days. No, or, or even three or four or five minutes. I got lost once when I was at the at the, at the mall with my, I think it was with my mom or at one point when I was a kid. I um, almost got lost at the toy store because I didn't know where my mommy was, but then I found I've it. I've yeah. almost got lost several times, mm-hmm. but I managed to find the little boy. Yeah, I know mm-hmm. one of them. Yeah. Nothing, nothing too too memorable though. But it, it's, a, it's something that certainly if you're a parent, <laughs> you can't find your kids. It's worrying. That's why we. That's why I always tell you to stay, stay close when we're in a big crowd. But can you imagine that Jesus was missing? His parents For couldn't find three him. Three days. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's some kind. That's an entirely different kind of loss. Yeah. That's. But he. But he wasn't lost. He was right. He said, "I'm right where I should be. I'm in my father's house." He. He was there. In the temple, why? Well, why do you think Jesus called the temple his father's house? Because it was a because a temple is a place to worship God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the the temple was a not only was a place to worship God, but the temple was a special place where God's presence was 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 more was more powerful, more more present than than in other places. There's all kinds of ways that they, the Bible talks about. They, they call it his footstool, sort of the place where God's in heaven, but you can access him at, at his footstool, um, or uh, again, there, there are a bunch of different ways. But it was a place where you could encounter God. But again, Jesus was was reminding his parents that I'm, you're my parents here on earth. God is my father, and I, I need to be in my father's house. Now, is there a place like like that, like that for us, mm-hmm. where we can experience God's presence? Yeah, church. Church, yes. Church. Yeah, church is sort of like a modern temple. Kind of, yeah. But now, is 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 what is it? The building that makes it a place where we experience God, or is it something else? Something, something else. else. And what is that something else? Um, it's I don't like. know. I hmm. don't know. Well, it's 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 our family there because we're because one of the things that be, Jesus is God's son, but because he came for us. Uh, to be one of us, to restore our relationship with God so that we could have a relationship with God like he does, so that God could be our father just like he is Jesus' father. The way God always meant it to be, but we kind of ran off and got lost. Uh, but Jesus came to find us, to save us, and to welcome us to be back into God's family and really be a child of God like he's a child of God. And when we're all together, Jesus says, not only are you God's children, but you're also God's temple here on earth uh, god lives in you because i'm with you and that's what makes church so special it's not about so much about the building the building is certainly helpful for us but whenever we're yeah, gathered to, together like keep us sick yeah that's why that's, and that, yeah and, that, and that's and that's why it's it's hard that we haven't been able to gather together as god's people for for a while but we also know that it's the spirit that makes us god's temple. so even though we're, we're separate right now God's yeah. Spirit is continuing to unite us to be a house where people, where we can know the Father, and hopefully other people can know God the Father. Now, as, as, as we come to our time of prayer, how about what, is there a prayer that that Jesus taught us that mentioned something about God being like like a father? Wait, um, wait, what did you say? Is there a prayer that Jesus taught us that yes? Our Father in Heaven? Yeah. So, our Father in Heaven. Hallowed be your name. Yeah, our so, kingdom come. Yeah, so let's let, how about, how about for our prayer today? As we remember that Jesus is God's Son and that because of him we too can be God's children. Let's pray that prayer uh, that Jesus taught us, okay, for our prayer time. Let's, let's pray it together because this is something that makes us, that unites us with Christians and both in our own church family and all the other church families on earth. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. God, we thank you for Jesus, your son, who lets us be children a child of god as as he is your special beloved child help us to know that uh, that you are near 
help us to know that we are part of part of your temple your family god even though we're we're, we're far apart and lord jesus may we continue to celebrate your coming among us as we as we continue to make our way through christmas together we pray all this in your name lord jesus amen you, you realize you did say the prayer, the prayer that Jesus taught us, but why'd you say the little extra stuff? Huh? Yeah, and not to say all that and then we are. No, I, I thought we had a little bit more, but we'd start with Jesus' prayer. All right, let's. Uh, that's that's Maybe. all for that's all for this week. So let's uh, we'll say goodbye to everybody. Bye. And uh, bye. we'll see, see you, you later. in family worship in another week. Bye, bye everyone. See you in 2021. <laughs> yes, Merry Christmas, and see you in 2021.